Ukrainian violinist Andriy Pavlov is a soloist at the concert of the Vienna Radio Symphony Orchestra. He's performing a piece by modern Austrian composer Gerd Kur. It's a huge responsibility because it's a very prestigious hall, a great orchestra, a fantastic conductor. However, this responsibility is very pleasant and inspiring. The concert was organized by the Ukrainian Institute in the framework of the Bilateral Cultural Year Austria-Ukraine. The program covers 200 years of the European musical tradition, from Austrian Franz Schubert to Ukrainian classic Boris Latoshinsky. It's extremely important for us to bring our geniuses and talents back from oblivion. It's known that many works by Latoshinsky were banned by the totalitarian regime because they didn't correspond to ideological orders. The return of his works to the European musical context is a big task for Ukrainian cultural diplomacy. Boris Latoshinsky brought Ukrainian classical music to a world level. His third symphony is believed to be the pinnacle of his work. Western European audiences heard it in Vienna for the first time. Very special um, for us all to discover the second part, which is Lastoshinsky's uh, Third Symphony, um, which none of us have played before, um, and of course is a epic, powerful symphony uh, statement just after the, the Second World War, and we hear the uh, tragedy and the despair and the brutality of war, and then this hope and reconciliation in, in a very special individual voice. The audience includes Ukrainian and Austrian diplomats, staff of the UN office in Vienna and representatives of the Ukrainian community in Austria. Around 300 people in total. A hundred musical and human emotions. These pieces kept me in suspense during the entire concert. In these moments you can not only enjoy the music but also look inside yourself mentally. The concert of the Vienna Radio Symphony Orchestra was recorded and will soon be broadcast on Austrian and Ukrainian TV. Reported by Olga Volinets for UATV.